show tomorrow from wetheadpumprepair.com. All right, first thing you want to do is hit the subscribe button right underneath the video. And that way you get all the updates to our videos. I'm here with my boy Robert. What's up, man? How you doing? Robert's ready here to go. All right, so you've probably seen us in the other 8 million videos working on this pump, or maybe just eight other 8 videos. Millions, a lot of numbers. All right, so we showed you how this motor was bench tested, how to take it apart, how to put it back together. If you don't, haven't seen those videos or don't know how to do that, you can go right to the little search box on the corner of our YouTube channel and just search for the Vical Ultramax and you'll see all the videos. Okay. So we just bench tested it, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna be reinstalling this wet end. Now, here's the thing. Most people, they go to put this other piece of the wet end on, which is separate here. Okay, it's two pieces. You've probably seen it in my other videos. And I kinda don't want to take it apart, but see, there you go. There's this other piece. Most people put this on, and then you run into problems. What I like to do is I like to put the two pieces together like this. Because I know my position of the outlet is pointing up. Now, Robert will tell you why that's important. Right, that is important, just like Robert said, because if you don't put the out in the right position, you're not gonna have it connected to, right. Exactly, the pipes that are in the spa. All right, so what you want to do is I put it like that so I know which way it goes. Now, I'm going to put it on like this and I'm going to tighten my through balls. Now, if you're a pump guy, and like, you know, a lot of you guys watch me now, you're like, yo, this guy's crazy, he makes a million videos, and that's right, man, I'm trying to educate you so not only can you make money as a pump guy, right, but also if you're a consumer, you can save a lot of money if you don't want to pay the pump guy. <laughs> so it's kind of like a love-hate relationship when you watch these videos, right, you know, because you're really like, your pump shop, like, yeah, we're going to make some money this summer, bro, because we're not going to just sell new pumps. But then if you're a consumer, you're like, yeah, hell with the pool guy, man. You know, why should I pay that guy 150 bucks when I can buy a kit for 30 bucks? But then again, you might be like Rich and be like, yo, let him do it for 150 bucks while I go to the beach with, some, you know, women or men or whoever you go with, you know, it's, it's cool, you know, whatever. All right, so getting back to the pump. Now, what did I just do wrong there? Did anybody catch that? Do you know what I just did wrong? Like, if I bolted this together, would you know what I did wrong? Now, unbelievable. You've seen this guy, right? Like, he's like almost like, you know, he's almost like Flo from Progressive. Now, Flo, what's up if you're watching? Yo, maybe I've got a pool pump. You know, great TV shows. We like the white background. I love how you kind of package things up like you feel like you're getting more from your car insurance but like what did I do wrong here man now he's in 270 videos and he can't even tell me what I did wrong can you maybe it's just an act maybe he really knows what I did wrong he's just lying to make the video better what if we both it together what are we forgetting all right well I don't have all day and you're probably oh, like uh, uh... hurry come on Robert dun, 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 dun. what water sling that's right here it is right here. He was going to look for it somewhere else, and I could have had a practical joke on him. He was like, yo, where is it? Oh, my God, my camera freaking. I already had it ready because I knew I was going to do this. All right. So here it is, the water sling. You want to take this back off. The water sling goes on the shaft. Now, what this does is if the bearings start leaking, uh, the, I mean, the seal starts leaking, it's supposed to defer the water away from the bearings. Does it normally work? No. No. But, hey, manufacturer put us in there. We're going to put it back. All right. So what you want to do now is you want to take your seal housing, and you want to bolt it on in the upright position just like this. Okay, we know our spa has an up outlet. And what we're going to do now is we're going to tighten the through bolts with the right nut driver, not like the one I was just about to use that was wrong. And what you want to do is you want to tighten all four of these through bolts just like this, okay, in the back of the motor. Okay, I'm gonna, after I tighten this one through bolt, I'm just going to turn the pump so you can see it a little bit better. All right, so you want to tighten all four of those through bolts, right? They're back, right back here. All right, so you want to tighten all four of these through bolts. And once you tighten all four of the through bolts, you'll be able to take off the uh, wet end cover, which is right here, okay? Now I'm gonna pop that off. Now, so I'm gonna quickly just tighten off all these screw bolts real fast like this, all right? And then with the next step, what would be the next step, man? Put it on the impeller. That's right, whoa, he spoke out of turn. Did you not, you spoke out of turn. All right, so we're gonna pull these four through bolts down. All right, so now, remember, if you need the parts, okay? Wetheadpumprepair.com, just type in wetheadpumprepair on the top of the Google. On the bottom of this video, you'll find links. Um, that will direct you to the page if you need to get some parts. All right, so I'm just about with my fourth, done with my fourth through bolts here. Okay, now you can see my wet end is on. I'm gonna pop this at, end off now, because we're going to the right position. And the next step is gonna be put the impeller on. All right, thanks for coming, man. Yep. Subscribe to the videos. Yo, you punched my heart real hard, like we were in a gang or something. All right, so watch for the next video. I'm gonna show you how to put this impeller on this Vico pump. All parts are available at wetheadpumprepair.com. Subscribe to the videos. Thanks for watching. This is Joe Tamargo. Peace.